friends, thanks for joining me today at Amani's Library. We're going to be reading The Pout Pout Fish and the Worry Worry Whale. If you have a copy, run and grab it so that you can read along with me. The Pout Pout Fish and the Worry Worry Whale by Deborah Deason. Pictures by Isidre Monet. Mr. Fish was quite excited. There's a party to attend. With gift in hand, he headed out, then bumped into a friend. Hello there, Willow Whale, he said. We're off to the same place. But his friend did not look happy. There was worry on her face. Is something wrong? asked Mr. Fish. I'd like to help, if so. It's the party, answered Willow Whale. I don't want to go. Is worry even bigger, even bigger than a whale? I told them I was coming, but then I got to thinking of countless things that might go wrong. Now my tummy's sinking. What if it's too crowded or no one wants to play? What if I feel out of place and don't know what to say? Mr. Fish was understanding. Sometimes I worry too. Worry tells us stories, but not all of them are true. So take a great big breath with me. <sighs> to soften Worry's voice, then pick one thing, just one, to try. A tiny little choice. Maybe Worry isn't bigger, isn't bigger than a whale. Willa thought this over. I could go for just the start. If all my worries do come true, I know I can depart. With plan in mind, the two good friends continued on their way. Deep breaths and conversation helped keep worried thoughts at bay. Closer to the party, Willa's worry started churning, but then she heard, You got this! And she felt her calm returning. The place was loud and crowded, but she found a comfy space. She watched her friends and played a bit, less worry on her face. Maybe worry isn't bigger, isn't bigger than a whale. Willa didn't talk a lot, she felt a little shy. But that's okay, she coached herself. I only have to try. When worry started bubbling up, she breathed and wished them out. <sighs> You're doing great, said Mr. Fish. It helped dispel her doubt. But all at once, her peace of mind upended in a burst. The time had come for singing, and my singing is the worst. What if I'm too squeaky, off-key and awfully rude? What if I forget the words? What if I get booed? Worry's growing bigger, even bigger than a whale. A flood of worry thinking cascaded through her head. It nearly overwhelmed her, but she made a plan instead. She turned and said to Mr. Fish, I'm going to try one note. If I get stuck, I'll hum instead. I'll let the music float. So Willa tried. She sang her note. The voices joined as one, and Willa Whale enjoyed herself. This party has been fun. Worry tells us stories, but not all of them are true. So when worry swims inside me, there are things that I can do. I can find a friend to talk to, then breathe and make a plan, and choose a tiny step to take, believe and know I can. Because worry isn't bigger, isn't bigger than a whale. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like so we can read together again. Let me know what book you want to read next in the comments below. See you next time!